Hey guys, how you doing? Hope everything is well. Okay. Yesterday was the 4th of July. I don't know what the hell went on. Everybody should be celebrating and having a good time, you know, enjoying the 4th of July. Like, it's once a year. You understand? Why... Why these things have to happen? Why these bad things have to happen? I just did a story of a pop-up. I mean, those people that kept popping up after they kept sh shutting them down and they kept going from area to area to area and it became a mass shooting is a shame. You understand? I thought it was like a regular pop-up where they have their little, you know... They sell a little food or something. I don't know what was going on here. And plus, they went on social media. So anyway, y'all, we're going to get off of that because I just did that video just now. I just wanted to clear that up, that that pop-up was doing the most. Now, where I live at in New York, they said it wasn't um, a terrorist attack. They said it was a guy that was drinking. They still looking into it. Three dead, eight injured. After a truck, truck struck them, just ran straight into the crowd. I don't know, y'all. He ran straight into the crowd. You understand what I'm saying? They said he was drunk or whatever, and they trying to say, like, you know, we're not, we're trying to, you know, put out our minds that it was a terrorist attack hopefully it wasn't but for you to just ride into a crowd they say he was drunk you know what i'm saying but i don't know i guess they have to investigate more you know on this situation i do not know all i know it was a mass killing and injured in manhattan yesterday where I was three dead eight injured after the truck struck a group celebrating on the um celebrating on the 4th of July in Manhattan in the park three people was killed and eight others was injured when a pickup truck drove into a group celebrating for the 4th of July in New York City a Ford F-150 came down a street at a high speed at a rate of a high speed shortly before 9 p.m. Thursday now you already know like right like 9 hmm 9.30, they start, 9.30 to 9.40, they start, you know, letting off the, um, the fireworks. So this happened right before they let, you know, the fireworks off, you know, and this drunk person just drove into a crowd that was enjoying themselves. Let's finish. The truck went through an intersection and passed the stop a red uh, stop sign drove onto the sidewalk and into a uh into the park on the lower east side like you jumped the sidewalk and drove straight into a park where all these people was at On the Lower East Side, New York Police Department Chief Jeffrey said during a news conference, two of the victims was identified as Lucille Pickney, 59, and her son, Hernard Pickney, 38. The third was not immediately identified. The, the driver, Daniel Hayden, Daniel Hayden, 44, was arrested on charges inclu including
driving while intoxicated and a grave unlicensed driver. Driving. He didn't even have a damn license. Hayden was awaiting arraignment Friday today and did and did not yet have an attorney who could speak for him. A spokesman for the Manhattan District Attorney's Office said no phone number for Hayden was listed in the public records. Y'all. Wait. What you mean? What you mean? Wait, hold on. No phone number? What grown person don't have a phone? Or they saying it wasn't detected? No, no, y'all. Sounds kind of shady to me. Fire Department Assistant Chief Michael Myers said, the first crew to arrive at the scene found the, the pickup truck on top of four victims, y'all. So he just totally just ran them down, like for real. The truck is on top of people. This is crazy. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's, it's crazy. Like, you trying to have a good time, but no. You got this drunk. Hopefully. Hopefully. This wasn't no terrorist attack because this is something that they would do. Hopefully it wasn't. They said it wasn't, but they still have to look into it. They said he was on top of four victims. Firefighters worked quickly to es to um es escalate them. Esca how you say escalate them? Sorry, them before emergency, emergency medical personnel began treatment, Maya said. Police said those injured in the crash and taken to the hospital include an 11-year-old boy and an 18-year-old woman and several people in their 30s. The crash happened about a half an hour before the, before the, before the start of the Macy's fireworks. The fireworks show and other fireworks displayed around New York. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, see, a lot of people come to New York to see the fireworks, like, for real. They come from all over. So, we don't actually know if these people that was hurt, you know what I'm saying, was from here. But, um, let's keep reading. We had a tragic incident that took place here, New York Mayor Adams said. A driver drove into a crowd of people who was actually just celebrating like so many New Yorkers and Americans are doing right now. The crash happened days after four, including, as, uh, including an NYPD officer was killed when a driver crashed his SUV into a nail salon. That was another mass right there at Deer Park on Long Island. The driver in that crash crash was charged with driving intoxicated and pleaded not guilty. All okay. right. So anyway, y'all, they said it wasn't a terrorist attra attack. You know what I'm saying? They said he just was drunk. He jumped the curb and he just landed on all these people. Okay, but I'm going to show you some pictures that they're not going to show you, but I want to show you some pictures because, you know, our hearts go out to those that, you know, lost their lives trying to have a good time waiting just for that to see those, you know, fireworks. Fireworks are beautiful. They're beautiful. They're so beautiful. Like, everybody want to see them. You know, they want to see. I know that. I know I've been here many times. Like, it's beautiful. But let me just show y'all a picture right here, y'all. They're going to try to show you a picture of the victims. Okay, y'all? And we're going to pray for their families because this is so heartbreaking. 
you know, then they're, they're not going to show you right like today, probably the pictures, or later on, they may show you the pictures. But I have some pictures of the crash and and them. All they was doing was celebrating, y'all. That's all they was doing. Was celebrating. I'm going to show you some more pictures, y'all. This is terrible. This is terrible. Let me show you the truck. This is the truck. This is the truck that... This is a big truck, y'all. Look at that truck, y'all. That was a big truck. That was a big truck. Look at this, y'all. They got kids' toys out there, y'all. It's horrible. Look at the kids' toys out there. So you can tell everybody was having a good time because they was in the park. We're in the park. What is a car doing in the park? What is a big old truck doing in the park? This is crazy, y'all. I know Adam probably was so hurt. Like, you know, why? Why we just can't have a good time? <sighs> y'all I'm gonna show you the video cuz I you know you need to see the video cuz it's so traumatic to see this here and like I said my heart goes out to all the families to the ones that was hurt and lost their lives I'm so sorry it was the 4th of July I wish this would never have happened but it did so I send my condolences to the families you know, that lost their loved ones and a fast healing to the ones that's in the hospital right now. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see the, the update on this here because this is a hot mess. All right, y'all. Hit that like button and subscribe. Wait for the video. <laughs> Uh, good, uh, good evening. Uh, I'm joined by members of uh, EMS, NYPD, uh, FDNY. Uh, we had a, a tragic incident that took place here. Uh, a driver drove into a crowd of people who were actually uh, just celebrating like so many New Yorkers and Americans are doing right now. We have a total of nine injuries. And it appears as though at this time, based on preliminary investigation, uh, the driver was under the influence. Uh, this is extremely uh, early. We're going to conduct a thorough investigation. It doesn't appear at this time that this was terrorist related. Uh, we're going to have uh, Chief Madry give an overview, and EMS will give an overview of the injuries of those who were uh, involved in this incident. Chief Madry? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, good evening to the members of the uh, media. Uh, and as the mayor said, this is still a very new investigation and we're still working out the details. And before I even give any details, I really want to uh, just give sympathy to the families. Not only the families, the victims of this uh, incident, but even the people who were here in the park who were celebrating on a beautiful 4th of July evening. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, about 8.55 this evening, uh, we had many families inside of Corlez Hook Park, uh, which is right here at the intersection of uh, Water Street and Cherry Street. As these families were enjoying the 4th of July celebration, a gray pickup truck, a Ford F-150, driving at a high rate of speed on Water Street eastbound, ran through the intersection of Water Street and Cherry Street, through the stop sign, up onto the sidewalk, into Corliss Hook Park, and struck people who were out enjoying the evening. At this time, we have nine people who are, who are struck. Uh, right now, we believe, uh, right now, two of them are confirmed DOA. Our FDNY uh, chief will give some more details about the injuries. Right now, this is an active investigation. Responding officers who did arrive on the scene did smell some alcohol, but we are still in the uh, process of doing testing with our uh, highway unit, our IDTU unit. 
So as this information becomes available, we will update the press into exactly the condition of the driver and anything else that we learn. But right now, we do not feel like this is a, this is a terrorism-related event. We do believe that alcohol had played a role in this, but we are investigating and we will look further into it. I'll bring up Chief Myers and he'll discuss some of the injuries. Yeah, at this time, uh, EMS has confirmed that we have nine patients uh, right now. We have four red, three yellow, and two green tags. So the red being critical, yellow being seriously injured, green being uh, not not that and not that injured. Uh, we arrived on scene within three minutes and 24 seconds. The FDNY uh, they encountered a pickup truck on top of four victims. At that time, uh, ladder 18 and squad 18 began to operate to extricate uh, the victims out of there. They used airbags, floor jacks, and cribbing in order to lift the vehicle off of the victims. Uh, at the same time, EMS arrived on scene and then started to work with ESU as well, who arrived on scene to remove one of the patients. Uh, they, they, uh, they work together very well, and that's exactly what our emergency services are supposed to do. What we're meant to do is get on scene quick and, and uh, again, try to save as many lives as we can and operate in a, as proficient a manner as possible. And, and to us, it never matters whether it's police or fire. Uh, we're here to cooperate, work together, and again, save New York City citizens. All right, we can take a couple of questions. John Sandy, ABC7. Actually, I had just a clarification, maybe for fire. First of all, of those four, two are believed to have yeah, two, two, or, two or DOA at this time, yes. Uh, and then I guess if you could just talk about the, the, the types of injuries that the rest of the people face in the neighborhood. Because they all got bust out quickly, it's hard for me to say exactly what their injuries are at this time. They're all being evaluated at the hospital. Obviously the most critical are always handled first at the hospital. Kind of like what we see in a mass unit type of situation. They do an assessment. They try to take care of the people who are most critical. Then they move to the next so seriously injured folks. We don't have the extent of those injuries yet. Uh, thankfully, like we said, we have two green tags. And, and there was a lot of people over here when we first arrived. They had up to 200 people who were on scene already. So obviously it could have been a lot worse than it was. Although like the, the police chief said and the mayor said, you know, our heart goes out to those folks that did get hurt and, and did get injured. The demo is in New York. Some witnesses told me that they may have pulled the driver out of the car after this happened. Can you talk about that? Uh, what, what exactly happened? Yes. Um, during the course of our investigation, we do believe that initially that there were people who were there at the scene who are, uh, grabbed the driver, removed the driver, and made sure the driver didn't leave until first responders uh, made it to the scene. We're still verifying the ages, but we do believe we had a mother who was here with two young children. We have that the hospital. Uh, we have them at the hospital, which is verifying the ages, but we do believe they were young. All right, uh, Josh, I have one more question. Mr. Mayor, um, I guess uh, obviously this is a very extraordinarily busy night for the city. I think it's only 1145. I wonder if you can speak to the, just the stakes at a higher level. That's a good question. And when you look at uh, the fact we also had an officer involved shooting, uh, we have several other incidents. Uh, then you have a tragic incident like this that really impacts uh, family members who were just here uh, celebrating and barbecuing inside a park. Uh, the FDNY, the NYPD, uh, they have to respond to all these jobs and they have to immediately assess uh, the situation and go out and make sure that thousands of people who are out watching the fireworks get home safely and it just really uh, understand the complexities of that this is just not one incident that took place tonight. There's several incidents that NYPD and FDNY and EMS are responding to and they're going to be out all night to make sure uh, that those who were celebrating uh, Independence Day can get home safely. And this, is just, this is just one of those tragic incidents that's really going to impact this community and we're going to come in and make sure counselors are here. Uh, but it just goes to show you the job that the uh, men and our first responders have to carry out every night.